Well, well listen, you know, we both travel America, right? right. Um, right. Do, do you see the same country when you go out to the middle of America that you read about in the media? Because I don't. No, I see people. I mean, I've been traveling the country by car. I'm afraid to fly, so... Um, I traveled across the country in a, in a car to come out here. And I'm always in places talking with people. And, you know, a lot of the things we think, we, we, when we meet people, they're people. But when we view people stereotypically and we deal with them in their group, and when they sit in their group, they're not like who they are when you see them in person. Right. So. You know, about this afraid to fly, if you smoke a joint... <laughs> It doesn't help me. No. I wouldn't try it. I, I don't... No, <laughs> no kind of drug would help me with that. I'm so afraid. I just... Right. But you wouldn't know if you sat next to me. I just fake being cool just the whole time. Just... <laughs> I get some music. I'll, I work on the score. I'm just in here. It's, it's I, just what You I'm are doing. always cool. I don't think you I need a better it. phobia. I yeah. say. But last time you were here, we were talking about how... I mean, your theory that the... And I think a lot of people shared that the media... So it keeps us fighting amongst each other. Well, it's a hustle, you know, and the, yeah. and the hustle is always based on getting people on the bottom of a society to think that the, each one is the enemy. And in our country, it's been, if you look at the, the position the poor Southern white was in, he's, he's angry at the people who, who cannot affect him. And he's out fighting war for those people and those who don't affect him, slaves. He's looking at them and he's mad at them. You need to be mad at who can affect your financial condition. Right. And I think, uh... Yeah. The pe- you're talking about the, the, sold, the soldiers who fought for General Lee in the Confederacy and, and were, did fight. not really have a stake in that. Who's, they were not owners of... They're they still were, fighting. And they're still fighting. They're still yeah. fighting. They're people fighting against who live in, in, in places where they never see a Mexican anytime. They're fighting to make sure that Mexicans don't come here. And they're fighting for issues that don't affect them locally. And they're fighting as a group with some group that they can't even define, really. A group called white or a group called black. And my brother and I were laughing about, can you imagine if you got people from Vietnam, Vietnam, Japan, China, Thailand, and you put them all together and call them a group called yellows? And then you start to talk to them as if they were going to adhere to your concept of what they were. And as a nation, we have to kind of... Uh, uh, we have to figure out what space do we want to be in in terms of our conception of ourselves. We want to be symbiotic, like you and I, we're sitting there talking. Do I want to fight you, or do I want to come together with you? Do I want to share the space? And that's really what jazz is about. It's about sharing space. Mm. You know, it's, it's important to realize that you're sharing space with people who are not playing what you would play. So sometimes they're playing notes. A rhythm section is accompanying you. They're not playing what you would play. But you can't stop in the middle of what you're playing and say, don't play this, play what I would play. So the exercise in the music is how can we use our form to, to, to address the issue at hand, which is swinging and, and sounding good as a group, and how can I work with you in the space and find a way for us to swing? That's why we go back and forth. <laughs> in, and it's not all it's not all funny games. You know, sometimes it can get heated. It's not all it's not all on funny stage games. it can get heated. Uh not, not you try to if you're professional it won't get heated on stage. But it, there've been times when people have come to issues on stage for for us in our group we we have a very uh, very really good balance and we we acknowledge it. For the last uh 15 or so years we all say most bands are very dysfunctional. But you're saying because it's so improvisational Sometimes you get pissed because some guy is going off on something that certainly wasn't planned because it couldn't be, but you don't think that that was a great direction to go in. Well, there's a lot of choice. Right. And wherever there's choice, there's strife. Yeah. And there are a lot of paradoxical moments, ambiguous moments, and somebody steps into the space and you have to make decisions. And there are also hierarchies, like the drums are the right. president. The piano is the legislature, and wow. the bass is the judicial branch. Now, you have to deal with them. So, you know... A, 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 drummer, a drummer might play something you don't like. Then, and, and also, the jazz musicians are very... We have heated personalities. Like, we can speak good, clear English to you if we don't like what's going on. And we play with a lot of passion and feeling, but we're working out ideas, and things could go in, in any way, but there's a, a, a form that you have to know that we follow. You have to agree that you're trying to swing and that you will follow that form. And you solo as long as you want. 
So you may solo 15 choruses when two were, were good. Now everybody's looking at you like. <laughs> so, you know, you have to want to share space. Can you impeach a drummer? 